Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be addressing a very short question that's usually asked. Uh, why does the recurrent laryngeal nerve have a different course on both the sides? Now where does this nerve origin originate from? So you'll see that uh, on the right side, there are two recurrent laryngeal nerves, one on the right and one on the left. So we'll see that the on the right side, it arises at the root of neck from the inferior ganglion of the right vagus nerve at the level of T1 vertebra. You will see over here in the picture, this is the recurrent laryngeal nerve. And you can see it is arising at the root of the neck from the inferior ganglion of the right vagus nerve at the level of T1 vertebra. Whereas on the left side, it arises in the thorax from the left vagus nerve when it crosses the anterior and the left surface of the arch of aorta at the level of T3 vertebra. You will see in the picture over here, this is the left recurrent laryngeal nerve and you can see how it is arising from the vagus nerve in front of the arch of aorta at the level of T3 vertebra. So, on the right and the left side, both have very different origin from the neck and from the thorax respectively on the right and left side. Next, we'll head on to the course of the recurrent laryngeal nerve. So, uh, first we'll talk about the right side. On the right side, we'll see that it winds around the under surface of the first part of the right subclavian artery and then it runs obliquely upwards behind the common carotid artery. As you see over here, it is uh, over here you can see the nerve it is arching underneath the first part of the right subclavian artery which is this artery and then it runs obliquely upwards behind the common carotid artery after which it lodges in the tracheoesophageal groove and ascends upwards to reach the neck whereas on the left side the, uh, uh, the recurrent laryngeal nerve, it winds round the under surface of the arch of aorta behind and to the left side of ligamentum arteriosum. You see in the picture over here, it is uh, going behind the arch of the aorta over here, behind and to the left side of ligamentum arteriosum. It ascends upwards from here and same as on the right side, it lodges on the left tracheoesophageal groove and appears in the neck. Now once it has appeared in the neck, both the right and the left recurrent laryngeal nerve, they have a similar course. So what happens is it passes upwards accompanied by the laryngeal branch of the inferior thyroid artery. It passes deep to the lower border of the inferior constrictor muscle and it enters larynx behind the cricothyroid joint. This is very important to know over here. As you can see in the picture over here, it is entering the larynx behind the cricothyroid joint and after entering the larynx, it divides into its motor and the sensory branches. So this has been the course of the right and the left recurrent laryngeal nerves. They take a different origin on both the sides. They ascend upwards till the level of the neck after which both of them follow a similar course enters the larynx behind the picothyroid joint and divides into its motor and sensory branches. I was telling you about the origin and the course of the recurrent laryngeal nerve, you could see that it was different on both the right and the left sides. Now this can be explained on the basis of how its development happened. So now we'll talk about the development. So both the recurrent laryngeal nerves as you have seen, they convey the branchiomotor fibers of the sixth branchial arches. The dissimilar origin and their course can be explained by following the derivatives of the aortic arch. First, we'll talk about the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. So, uh, we'll see these are the aortic arches as you see in the pictures. This is the fourth, this is the fourth, this is the fifth and this is the sixth aortic arch. So, first we'll talk about this, how the origin happens on the left side. So what happens is the dorsal part of the left 6th aortic arch, it persists as the ductus arteriosus in fetal life and ligamentum arteriosum after birth. So you see that this is the 6th 
aortic arch the dorsal part of this sixth aortic arch remains behind as the ligamentum arteriosum and on the left side also what happens is this fifth aortic arch over here it completely disappears and the fourth left aortic arch it forms a part of the arch of aorta so what happens here as a result is that the left recurrent laryngeal nerve it hooks below the arch of aorta over here it hooks over here on the left side of the ligamentum arteriosum as because the dorsal part of ligamentum arteriosum remains behind as the uh, dorsal part of the left uh, sixth aortic arch remains behind as the ligamentum arteriosum hence the origin of the left recurrent laryngeal nerve happens at this level now next when you head over to the right recurrent laryngeal nerve we'll see on the right side now so what happens is this is the sixth arch the right sixth aortic arch completely disappears this is the fifth arch that also disappears whereas only the right fourth aortic arch which is this one the right fourth aortic arch forms the proximal part of the right subclavian artery as a result of which the uh, right recurrent laryngeal nerve hooks underneath this right subclavian artery so therefore we see on the right side we have an origin taking underneath the fourth aortic arch whereas on the left side it goes underneath the ligamentum arteriosum towards a line more inferiorly so as you see in this picture over here it is confirmed this is the ductus arteriosus this is the left recurrent laryngeal nerve and this is the right recurrent laryngeal nerve so both of them in initially take origin from underneath here but as the fifth aortic arch and the sixth aortic arch disappears on the right side the right recurrent laryngeal nerve ascends upwards whereas on the left side since ligamentum arteriosum is a remnant of the of a dorsal part of the sixth aortic arch it still remains underneath over here this explains why they take different origin at different levels of the neck